Hi, I'm Zareen Khan, and I welcome you to my show, Spices and Secrets. Today, I'm going to let you on a lot of my cooking secrets, because I truly believe the more I share these secrets with you all, the more our bonds of love will grow. Cooking has been a very integral part of our family life. We cook for all occasions, whether be it Eid, be it uh, Christmas, New Year, and hosts of parties, etc. And you won't believe from the time I have been married, our cooking fires have not even been closed for a single day. And that speaks for a very long time. Even when we are on holidays, food is cooked in large quantities in our house for our large staff who through the years have become just like members of our own family. Sanjay truly believes that if we have more and more people in our home eating from our cooking, then it's like barkat, bringing barkat in the house. Today, two of our close family friends are joining us for lunch. But before that, come, let's go into the kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how we make a very tasty and delicious moong dal khichdi. This khichdi is usually combined with our tomato birchi gosh, which our guests are going to eat after we have this ready. So the first step is take the pan and open the lid and put some pure ghee in it. So we are going to do just that. Before the ghee heats up, we also have to put in some of this elaichi, dalchinis, and some lavang, as they say. And now one has got to wait for all this to heat up properly. In the meanwhile, I shall cut the onions. Making khichri is also an art. The rice has got to be separate when it's finished, and the look has got to be very appetizing. So we are ready to go along with it now. And we pour all this into this dish. We pour this, the onions, to keep frying it. Now, while we are waiting for the onions to become transparent, we put in this bowl half a kg of rice, along with quarter kg of moong dal, which is washed previously and kept aside. And we mix this properly and add some water in it. Water should be about a one and a half inch to be exact, higher than the rice. So this is the water that we add here. And we keep on filling the water till it goes to about an inch and a half high. In the meantime, the onions have got ready and it's the right time to put in the rice. And we have to add some salt and a little bit of haldi powder. And we mix all of it together and let one steam. Close the lid and let it give one boil. We use the haldi powder to give it the yellow color because then it'll look good because we are going to put some other little colors on it. So when it comes out, it looks appetizing and not just plain white. Khichri goes well with both vegetarian and non-vegetarian dishes. And it's also, you can eat it plain because there's pure ghee put into it. And of course, then the flavors of the spices and everything is mixed together and the onions. So eventually it turns out to be a really very tasty dish. Now we are going to see, let the boil come and then add on when the water is sort of evaporated the boil comes, then we put in the rest of the ingredients and let it cook slowly and steadily till all the water disappears. You know, this khichri is not a mashy mashy kind. All the grains will be separate and it will be almost like a palau. Sometimes you can even put vegetables in there and that, that becomes like a vegetable khichri or you can eat it on its own. So there are very variety of whatever you want to put. You can put tomatoes in it, you can put beans in it, 
But anything, anyway, I think it's going to be almost ready. So let's have a look. Wow. Put the final touch with a little coriander on it. And a little of the pudina, pudina leaf to give it that whiff. And a few whole chilies this time without slits. Just kept like this. See how it looks now. And we close the lid and reduce the flame to something very, very slow for about another five minutes. And the khichri will become like a palau and delicious that you want to just dig in right there and then. That is the khichri that goes along with my tamatar mirchi gosh or even a plain alu ka bhurta. Anything for that matter. You can have it like a vegetarian dish with some vegetables or you can have it with some curry. Whatever you wish. I think the khichri is almost ready. It's smelling so good that I want to dig into it right away. Look, and if you were here, you would have literally got the aroma. Looking so good. The dish is already filling up. I guess this is it. And if you want to add a little bit of more excitement to the dish as far as the looks go, then you can add even a little more of the coriander just for a little bit of cosmetic look. So, this is the Khan Khichri, ready to be eaten. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. And if you've missed anything, here's the recap. For Moong Dal Khichri, in a pan, add 2 tablespoon ghee, 4 to 5 green cardamoms, 2 to 3 cinnamon sticks, 4 to 5 cloves, 2 sliced onions and let it fry. Now, in a bowl, add 500 gram washed rice, 250 gram washed moong dal, water as required and mix well. Add the rice and dal mixture to the pan and mix well. Add salt to taste, half teaspoon turmeric powder and mix evenly. Cover with the lid and let it cook. Now, sprinkle some freshly chopped coriander, mint leaves and 4 to 5 whole green chilies and cook it for 2 minutes. Garnish the dish with finely chopped coriander and serve hot. Your moong dal khichdi is ready to be served. We'll come back for the next recipe with a very special friend who's very close to the family. So we'll be back, don't go away, after the break. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to introduce you to the dashing Kabir Bedi. He was the first Indian star to act in international films. Kabir has worked in the international James Bond film, Octopussy. He's worked in Bold and Beautiful and of course, Sando Khan which has made him globally famous. Did you know he was given the highest civilian award by the Italian government? Hi, Zareen. Hi, Kabir. <laughs> How are you? How wonderful to be on your show. Nice to see you too. Please come in. Great setting. Thank you. You're looking gorgeous as usual. Thank you so much. But first, let me congratulate you on the, your marriage to the lovely Parveen. She's such a darling. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, she's a wonderful person and a perfect complement to my multi-dimensional life, complicated as it is, as you know, in the acting world. Tell me, what else are you doing now? I'm uh, doing a number of things. Uh, I just released Mohinja Daro, mm. which I was part of. Mm. Um, I have um, an Italian film called The Broken Key, which mm. I still have to complete. Um, there's a film festival in Spain I'm, wow. I'm going to. Uh, there's a Telugu film I'm completing uh -huh. with the son of NTR, uh -huh. Balakrishna, the great Balakrishna. Um, so lots of things um, in India and abroad because uh, that's been the nature of my career. I know. India and international. 
tell me something, Kabir. You are such a multifaceted actor. How do you manage all this? I mean, you are in drama, theater, <laughs> and uh, various other, so many other things. And yet you look the way you do. I mean, today, all the women of all ages go totally agog with you. <laughs> huh? Don't make me blush, <laughs> Lorene. Uh, I, 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 will, I will have to call the makeup man to damp down my <laughs> red on my face. But listen, you should know that. You're a, you're a highly uh, talented, multi-dimensional oh. person yourself. You've been a fashion designer of great repute and excellence Thank for you. decades. Uh, you. You've been involved with fashion, with design in all forms. Um, and you have the most incredible family. Uh, being a homemaker <laughs> is no small so task to run such an incredible establishment. Quite fantastic yourself. And I must say, every single time I've come to your home, I have had the most delicious dishes imaginable. Uh, you're very kind. In that case, let me take you into my kitchen and help you prepare some of my food. Okay, let's what see what's cooking. Good. Today, I'm going to make you a lovely tomato mirchi gosh. Tomato so I... mirchi gosh. Yes. So Sounds I... fabulous. First, three tablespoons of oil. Then, of course, we put first, we put these elaichi lavang a little bit. That's the usual first thing that goes into every dish. Really? Yes. And a little dalchini. Dalchini. Then, of course, you quickly cut the onions. So we cut about, say, two onions in this. Right. So now we, we put this, once this oil gets hot, we put the onions in. You know, meat mm. together with onion and tomatoes mm. have a wonderful combination yes. taste. And uh, isn't it uh, usually even all mostly Italian dishes are also made with a lot of tomato and onions? A lot of tomatoes are there in right? the Italian yes. A lot of, a lot of them. Pestos, tomatoes, creams, uh -huh, uh -huh. then plain olive oils. Yes. And you, and you fry these till they're sort of... Uh, till they sort of get transparent, you know? Kind of light brown? Light brown, pinkish. Pinkish. And then the next step is, we have the meat here, mm -hmm. which is marinated with adrak and lesson. And how much is meat is that? Um... This is about half a kg. Okay. Hmm? Into the about, say, two to three onions. Right. Now we put in the red chilli powder. Then I put also the dhania, a little less than the red chilli powder. Again, if you want to make it hotter, you can make it hotter. Yeah. And according to your taste, you know. Right. And the haldi, the turmeric goes only half of what you put in of the red chilli. Okay. Not too much, otherwise it turns uh, bitterish, you know. Really? Yes, you okay. can't put too much of this. I have a lot of turmeric in my... It's very healthy, as you as know as that. As a, yes, yes, I take yes. it by the half spoon ah. with honey and cinnamon. And we have to add some salt. Then we add a little bit of coconut powder also. Oh, coconut powder? Yes, is, uh, just okay. about this much, you know. Just to give oh, it a So that's ground bit. coconut? Ground it? coconut. Okay. The idea is all the masalas have got to be well, well uh, cooked, you know. Now we go into the tomatoes. So I'm going to start cutting the tomatoes. Now, Kabir, I just want you to see how the meat is all, see, browned up with those masalas we Wonderful. put in. Wonderful. Looking and great. And now, before it starts burning in the pan, we put in the tomatoes to give them that little bit of liquid. Right, so right. Juices. The, to yeah, stew. the juices. See, Kabir, now the gravy from the tomatoes mm. is what does not allow the mutton to burn. Okay. So you let you have to mash up and let the juices of the tomato mix in with the mutton and all its uh, you know masalas that we did earlier. Right, right, right. And then cook together. You and get that then wonderful cook together. Fragrance. Exactly. But before doing all that, we let it mix and we've got to put add a little water. Okay. Wow. Hmm? A lot of love and care has gone into yes, this. Yes, absolutely. You know, food is something so special. It's mm. a kind of, not just to fill our stomachs, it kind of feeds our souls in a way, you know, because so it's, right. it's, we have an emotional relationship with food. Now I close the pan and yep. leave it on for at least about uh, 
35 40 minutes okay yes we get it is you got to slit these chilies oh, halfway this? yes okay now i shall open the lid wow this is good huh it certainly looks fantastic huh? it looks good huh and just put this like this up okay now we have got to put in the coriander which i'm going to take and put all over it like this right. little into the dish the last bit is the little lemon juice what does the lemon juice do it gives that little bit of tanginess into the flavor does it help soften the meat as well no now the meat is already soft soften so, so we close this, this is just the flavor just the flavor in so in 5 minutes your dish is going to be ready mm. to be served see see that oh wow look huh? at that nice fantastic so now we it's ready to be served it First, smells yes. smells so wonderful that's the second good test of good food how does it smell first how it looks second how it smells Smell. the third of course how it tastes i'm sure when you eat this you will love it zareen coming oh. from your hands i'm sure i'll love it <laughs> because it's made with a lot of love and affection for you well, thank you zareen Kabi, this is the final tomato mirchi gosh. Would you like to have a little whiff of it? Mm, I'm doing everything I can not to put my fingers in the bowl and eat it like a jungly. Patience, you'll get it done. So if you missed anything, here's the recap. For tomato mirchi gosh, for marination, take 500 gram of meat, add salt to taste with one tablespoon ginger paste. 1 tablespoon garlic paste mix well set it aside for 30 to 40 minutes heat 3 to 4 tablespoon oil add 6 to 8 cloves 5 to 6 cardamoms 2 to 3 cinnamon sticks and fry them now add 2 chopped onions and fry till golden brown add the marinated meat in the pan mix well add 2 teaspoon red chili powder half teaspoon turmeric powder 1 teaspoon coriander powder and mix well till the meat gets nicely coated with all the spices. Now, add 1 teaspoon coconut powder, add salt to taste, mix the meat well and cook it on high flame till all the water from the mutton dries up and the oil is seen on top. And cook it on high flame till 45 to 60 minutes. Add 3 chopped tomatoes, 1 and a half cup water and keep it on a low flame with a pan covered till the meat becomes tender. Sprinkle 5 to 6 slit chilies, freshly chopped coriander, 2 teaspoon lemon juice and leave it on slow fire for 5 minutes. Your spicy tomato mirchi gosht is ready to serve. We have another guest you will love to spend time with. So don't go away. We'll be back for a belly full of laughs. But after a short break, hi, we are back. And I hope you are ready to welcome the famous Javed Jafri. He's an actor, comedian, dancer, producer, and also responsible for introducing the youth of this country to various stylized forms of dance, including the rock and roll. He has an impressive list of films to his credit, both Indian and international. Javed is a highly creative artist, and I'm sure we are going to have an afternoon of fun and lots of laughter. Today, I'm happy to welcome this huge talent house to my show. It's so sad, why are you, brother? Sarin Ji, Kabir, brother. बाहर तक सड़क तो खुशबू आ रही है आपके खाने की भाई जहां जरीन खान का खाना हो फ्री एवर रेडी है जावे जाफरी इससे ज्यादा कोर नहीं मैं नहीं हो सकता रीन जी थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच नाइस टू सी यू अगेन वंडरफुल वंडरफुल हे जावे सर हाउ यू सर वंडरफुल कम हियर थैंक यू सो हाउ आर यू दिस आई एम ग्रेट एंड दिस इज सच अ वंडरफुल Home and setting you put up, you know. Thank you. But I, I must, I must tell you something very interesting which happened. So my yaha aara tha. So my cook hai. Jang Bahadur Thapa. So my ne, who am Jang bolte hai. Meri pehli film thi meri Jang. So mere se connect hota hai. So my ne kaha bhai Jang. Main ja raha hu. Zareen ji ka cookery show hai. 
लेकिन आपने इटली में काम किया अगर इटालियंस के हाथ बांध दो तो कुछ बात नहीं कर सकते हैं पूरे कंधे लेकिन हम भी हाथों का इस्तेमाल करते हैं सिमिलरिटीज बहुत है हिंदुस्तान और इटली में वो संडो खान एक्चुअली वॉज अ वेरी गुड वो मिश्रण था संडो खान वॉज एक्चुअली पंजाबी एंड मुस्लिम का संधू खान हाँ ये मुझे बात सूझी नहीं अब तक चल मी समथिंग वुड यू लाइक टू डू अ सीरियस रोल एनी टाइम आई डन अ फ्यू सीरियस रोल डन दीपा मेहता फायर डन फिल्म कॉल शौर्य माय फर्स्ट फिल्म मेरी जंग वाज अ सीरियस रोल आई डिड ओ डार्लिंग ए इंडिया अगेन सो आई डन दैट बट That's how it is. The funny stuff is always remembered more because it's more fun. Fun, yeah. Because right. right. we always think of you when you come and you make us laugh. First time coming to your house, and I was called after Mary Jung, and uh, Sanjay Sir was the first person mm. from the industry. He called me and he gave me a lot of love and a lot of respect, and said, "I'm making a film, and I want you to play one of the principal roles in that." I think Anil Kapoor was supposed to star in it, and uh, he called me for dinner, and uh, the kids were there, and first time I was introduced to. Susan as Sausan. Uh, He said that that's the actual pronunciation of the name Sausan, yes. uh, which is the Arabic for. It's a name of a wild flower, Sausan. Yeah. But eventually, all the names get changed, yeah. you know. Yeah. So it's become Susan now. One more thing, Kavi sir. <laughs> ये इनके बारे में कुछ पता है मुझे वो the first डब्बा सिस्टम जो था अभी हम तो डब्बा वाले होते हैं लेकिन ये डब्बा सिस्टम जो इंडस्ट्री में शुरू हुआ ये जरीन जी जब संजय साहब जाते थे तो आप यू हैव टू प्लीज टेल अस दिस स्टोरी नो आई मस्ट टेल यू दैट माय हस्बैंड ही एंजॉयज फीडिंग पीपल एंड ही कैन नेवर ईट ऑन हिज ओन सो एवरी टाइम ही यूज्ड टू गो फॉर अ फिल्म शूट और व्हेन वी ही डिड हिज ओन मूवीज ही यूज्ड टू मेक मी कुक फॉर 40 पीपल Nice literally God. and i used to enjoy it but of course i had help but i used to sort of overseer and so every day there would be one day paya there would be one day some chicken korma one day biryani and how and, many types huh? of biryani my god yes I many types of them so i think from there we got a you know really uh, the flair for cooking and the love for good food and, and the table had to be all well set there was never anything less on the table whatever it is whether it's lunch breakfast or dinner ta- table must be good you know, you know Oh, this is what reputations are based on in the industry because uh-huh. like an army a film unit marches on its stomach yes if you don't give them good food they will not do good work so you have a lot of contribution to sanjay's <laughs> film making as well i hope so and i'm sure he he appreciated the same even sanjay is a very very good cook he's he used to make lovely hara masala chops and you know it used to say it's my relaxation actually cooking is a relaxation for men i believe prince charles loves cooking he also says that he it gives him a sort of a feeling of total uh, abandon you know about being very happy and free carefree as so, long as people don't abandon the dining table when <laughs> he <any> presents us unke charles chalan se hum waqif hain but my first introduction to your uh, this great i think they, i don't remember the dish but it was uh, there was a lot of indian uh, kind of mogalaiish zone we were in but i mean the You know all the biryanis, the kebabs, the salans, the spread. The spread. Oh, that was your kima. 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 That was I met my husband we uh, met on the beach so it's oh, a whole very, love story very beach, very yes <laughs> absolutely and when we became friends because we were neighbors and he invited me over to his house to have one some meal or something and the first time I entered his house and had the meal I just simply loved their food and uh, i enjoyed it so much and who was the most happiest was my mother in law because she used to cook and she felt so happy that i enjoyed her food so much so after that she used to make special dishes for me every day to try to say come tomorrow come and have lunch with us and all the rest so i used to go there and eat all this lovely lovely Potential food and yeah. yeah because she was already in her mind making up which year 
बेगम <laughs> and she was a lovely woman when sanjay proposed to you yes did you accept because he was such a nice guy or because his mother cooked such fantastic <laughs> food <laughs> won't believe uh, the second day of meeting me he proposed to me and he was only 18 years old and uh, i was 14 so what he liked best i i told him i said if i feel the same about you after 2 years i will marry you so he thought this is a very 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 uh, clever answer for a 14 year old girl right. and i believe that's the time he said that she is going to be my wife he must have gone said ammi jaan aur khilao ise ko khilao to do saal baad mera imtihan hone wala hai after 7 years and he was not a star then so by the time then we he was struggling and uh, of course he became a very very good looking people used to call him the indian warren bt i still remember remember and uh <laughs> and then after that uh, the first two films hit silver jubilees and then it was stardom all the way he was known as the overnight star and you created right. such a wonderful family thank you and, yes uh, i i am i'm blessed i am and, blessed and made such a wonderful home thank many you. tributes thank to you sir many tributes thank you very much ab bhook lagi hai ab bilkul join us for lunch but after a short break <sighs> Toy. Now, what shall I serve you? Shall I help you with? Please, hmm? please. Start with the rice. This is khichdi. 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 This is khichdi. ये कहाँ गया खिचड़ी? ये घी डालते हैं इसमें आप? हाँ, थोड़ा सा बगार के लिए. Huh. When there's bagar being done, we have to put a little bit of. Key ways. Okay. What is the difference between this khichdi and um, and um, uh, other forms of khichdi? Uh, people always think that khichdi is for the when you are ill, you say kya khao to khichdi khalo. Hmm. But that's a very, uh, you know, soft and mashy type of khichdi. Wow, this, yeah, this khichdi we call it khichdi because uh, it's the it's it's flavored. It's got a little bit of uh, the bagar is in it, right. and then we have it uh, with you know uh, pudina and little uh, green chili and also a little flavor of uh, you know the turmeric. Right. So right. to give the color, and more or less, it looks nice with a red dish. So always right. on the table, the color difference must be there, you know. <clears throat> you want to try some of the yeah, red yeah, dish? Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Drink, uh, serve you some rice. Okay, mm. thank you. That's very little. Thank you very much. Color का भी सही का color से. Ah. It, it, it's a visual. It's a visual. Uh, uh, <laughs> Delight. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take some. Yes. Sorry. <clears throat> thank you. There you go. Passing the. Passing. Passing the dish. <laughs> and these kebabs also look wonderful. What do you think? What are these all about? Now these kebabs are kheema or ande ki kebabs. That means kheema uh, or ande ke kebabs. Uh, so you boil the egg and you mince the uh, meat with all the various flavors that you need to put in. And then after you mash up the meat, you put the quarter of the egg boiled and mm. then you wrap it around. Okay. The meat is got to be wrapped around, and then you fry it. So uh, this is uh, nice. So as you take a bite into it, you get the, you know, the taste of even the egg. So okay. शुरू करें. Please शुरू करें. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Yes. भाई bon appetit का कोई हिंदी equivalent क्या है? मतलब कुछ होना चाहिए ना. खाओ पियो मज़ा करो. It sounds good, no? Bon appetit. Mm. No? And to wish you mm. a, a wonderful meal and a good appetite. Mm. सत्ते पे सब पा सत्ता पे था. when they sat at the table mm. and bachchan sahab goes hiya <laughs> so that's i suppose more appetite for <laughs> these kebabs are wonderful mm. Mm. absolutely mm. wonderful hmm and i'm a great admirer of eggs mm. so anything made with eggs mm. so your keema and eggs this is exceptional <laughs> exceptional <laughs> tell me as far as you are concerned mm. what when you are traveling abroad what type of food do you usually eat there Well, there's so many wonderful world foods. There's Japanese food, there's Chinese food, there's Thai food. But I must say, the most remarkable meal that Parveen and I had in Italy mm. was we went um, to the rooftop of a wonderful hotel in Rome called the Eden Hotel, mm. where the man who exports truffles mm. to the world mm -hmm. was throwing a dinner. Okay. It was a sit-down dinner, mm. and everything, everything was served with truffles. At that dinner, pasta with truffles. 
rice with risotto and truffles, mm. fried eggs with truffles, <laughs> bread <laughs> with truffles, and it worked. Really? It was, and I and Parveen had never had truffles before, oh. and I said to her, you have started at the top mm. with truffles, with the best exporter and the best quality. After this, all truffle means will be downhill, <laughs> because you will never get this much and this quality uh. in any one place. And what about you? Which is the type of food you like and enjoy best? When I travel, I think the safest I've found, which I don't have to experiment, is Chinese, which kind of remains mm. constant. Italian, yes, pizzas. Mm. What I've noticed, Indian food abroad, they kind of taste, because it's mostly made by Bangladeshi people who have gone <coughs> and they have Very restaurants. Good. So Not the always, rest, but sometimes, yeah. Yeah, a lot of that. And, and yeah, they tend to right. taste kind of similar everywhere. You know, because they use, you know, ready-made masalas. Food that is made with ready-made masalas have a different taste altogether. Yeah. It's, but of course, today in the world, uh, there is a fusion, a fusion, which is a mixture of a lot of dishes and right. lots of type of, uh, you know, uh, styles of cooking. You know, very funny incident, I must tell you. I think we were in Paris. And we went to uh, dinner somewhere. Mm. This friend of mine, he, uh, he was a host. Mm. Uh, so the chef suddenly calls him inside. I said, Monsieur, Monsieur, can, can, you, can you tell me inside? So he goes inside. So he says, and they had baked fish for the main dish. So he says, uh, Monsieur, the cat has uh, eaten a pet of the fish. So my friend like said, okay, that's going to be the main dish. So he said, okay, you put some stuffing and turn the fish around. So it won't look and then people will carve it and they will know the difference. So, yes, the fish came on the table. Everybody had the fish. After some time, the guy comes, the chef comes, they're very worried, saying, Roxio, the cat is dead. So my friend panicked. The cat is dead. <laughs> so he comes out and he tells everybody, I'm sorry, excuse me, we have, this is an emergency. Uh, we will have to have a stomach pump. There was something wrong with the fish, so it could be all. And there was a medical kind of a unit nearby. So they went to the hospital, everybody had their stomachs and whatever, they're pumping. So obviously they can't go home from there. So they came back home, they were resting, having their little chamomile tea and whatever was good for the stomach, water. And sitting and my friend went to the chef and says, so uh, where's the cat? So he says, the cat, the cat is on the road uh, where the truck, truck ran over it. <laughs> But you yeah. are talking of this food once we, we in Venice, we were at a restaurant and uh, the food was extraordinary, very good. And Sanjay was with us and um, a few friends. And uh, it started raining very heavily. And you know, when Venice, it starts raining, then the water goes right up to the top yes. of uh, knee, uh, knee uh, deep waters and you can't go out from the road, oh. uh, the front. So we were asked to go out from the back of the restaurant. And when we went, as we were going out, the manager comes and asks my husband, sir, do you mind having some photographs with our chefs? So my husband was very surprised that uh, chefs here who... So he said, sure, I don't mind, but that he felt very good that I'm being noticed here and I'm being an actor and, uh, you know, Italy being known. And then who come out? Two Bengali chefs. Ah. They were the main chefs of this restaurant, which makes food. the fabulous French food and Italian food in uh, Venice. Wow. Yes, wow. main chefs. So I think Indian food is is going places absolutely, worldwide. Absolutely. And the, then the... And the level of chefs that we have are no longer content to make the old traditional dishes mm. alone. They want to take it a step further. However, we must never lose touch with the traditional flavors, yes, which is what all these things come from generations in a family. These and what dishes the have come the... really from generations because it's coming from right from, as I told you, my mother-in-law's little notes, which I, I used to write. In your case, Irene, is that it's not just the Mughlai tradition. Mm. You have, have a Parsi background, mm. so all these wonderful Parsi it's a mixture, and, yes. We yes. also have all of that. Mm -hmm. Right from the 70s, we've enjoyed your mm -hmm. wonderful hospitality. I remember when I'd come there with Parveen Babi mm -hmm. and to your place mm -hmm. and share wonderful meals together with the family. And then I spent many years outside India. But every time I've come back, you welcome me with open arms, invited me to your home, given me because a Because we like food. to <laughs> invite people who enjoy our food. That's we the We certainly thing. do. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back soon after the break. Welcome back. And before we end the show, I'm going to ask my friends a few fun questions. Uh, just a minute. Before you begin, uh -huh. wh who are these goodies for? Well, that's for you if you answer the questions right. You've got to earn them. And this is normally a return gift. We have to say that return gift is a lot of work for her. No, no, she's making us sing for our supper. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Tell me, Javed, if you were to make a comic film for Kabir, 
what role would you conceive him in? And would you make him dance? Comic film. Since we have a food show here. Okay, we'll make a film called Chole. Uh-huh. And the role of the trailer, which I did not do, I will never give it to you. You know, ha-ha! We are the English people. So, how would you say that line? We are the English people of the time. हम अंग्रेजों के जमाने के जेलर हैं। This is the biggest comedy of the year, fantastic। तो ये हो। और डांस, डांस भी हम वो जेल हाउस, जेल में हैं तो जेल हाउस रॉक कराएंगे उनसे। तो एल्विस और असरानी के बीच में एल असरानी। ऐसा। There you go. My dancing will be comedy enough. With a life as colourful as yours, why don't you write an autobiography and make it into a film? You know, Zarina, I've been trying to write my autobiography for a long time. It's a work in progress. It'll happen one of these days. But when it happens, I'm sure it'll be a good film. It has heroes, it has villains, it has failure, it has success. Uh-huh. It has um, uh, loyalties, it has betrayals, it has sorrows, it has joys. Hit film. Hit it film. will, I'm sure. And we'll all be very keen to see it. Well, if the whole Khan family sees it, uh-huh. that alone will make it the box opposite. Of course we will. <laughs> okay, tell me, Javed, if your friendship with Kabir were be, to be made into a film, what would you call that film? So it would be friendship with a love-hate relationship. And it would be probably produced by Karan Johar called Kabir Khushi, Kabir Gham. In the time, there is also a lot of love. Yes, yes. Besides eating. Besides eating. Kabir, tell me, which English or Hindi film defines your life the most? Boy, that's difficult. Um, Pachanae Asino. That's well a possible said. title, but I wasn't in the film. So, you know, having a career on many continents, you're defined by many films uh, that you've done. Whenever somebody meets me on the street and recognizes me, wherever they are, whether India or abroad, the first thing I ask them is, where are you from? Because once they tell me where they're from, I've got a good idea what their image is of me. Is it my Bollywood image? Is it my European image? Is it my American image? So, <clears throat> it's hard to say one film that defines me. It's a collection of films that does. Are you totally, purely Indian? In my spirit, yes. Uh-huh. Um, but my mother was English by birth. Ah, but right. she was also very much part of the Indian freedom struggle. She was uh-huh. a Gandhian. She was arrested by uh-huh. the British, oh. uh, imprisoned by them. Mm-hmm. And she felt totally Indian in her spirit as well. Mm-hmm. So I have no duality. Um, I feel totally Indian. That's something which is worth knowing, because I could make out just from the color of your complexion and uh, your height, <laughs> which is really... Uh, I'm 6'2", there's, six lots two. Yes. there's lots of tall Punjabis, there's lots of fair Kashmiris, there's lots of yes, um, so. people, but uh, I grew up um, in, in, in Kashmir, I grew up in Delhi, I, I spent most of my professional life in Bombay, and then I spent more than 25 years outside India, mm. uh, pursuing my foreign career. But now I'm based here. Good, and we even, like to have you And here. I like being here, and I like being here especially because I get to eat food at your house. <laughs> okay, Zarinji, I have a question, yes. not a funny question. Okay. Like, see, all your kids, they are so diverse in their own way. They've made their mark in different fields of creativity, whether it's fashion or interiors or film or jewelry, whatever. What would you advise mothers who have children who aspire or who want to be achievers? So what would you, what would be your little or funda to these mothers? Well, let me put it this way, that I've always brought up my children uh, with a lot of love and attention. And I've also told them to be very kind and gentle to the have-nots. Uh, my mother had once told me when I used to be a young model and uh, pretty popular then, she said, Zareen, remember one thing, that you're not the best in the world, neither are you the most attractive girl in the world. There are thousands more who are more attractive than you. So always remember this and feel that you're just a speck. So don't feel proud. Be kind to people who are there and uh, strive. Strive and whatever you decide, go up there, but go, do it with a lot of kindness and love to everybody around. And I think that's what the main thing is love. When you love people and you are bonded, the family also is bonded together. And in our family, fortunately, we give a lot of love, open affection, and we are very bonded. And I guess that's what makes them what they are. That's a great, I, I, there's a very nice line I read. Uh, 
a very thin line between arrogance and confidence. Yes. It's called humility. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You're very right. And remember, like they said in that film, the fastest gun in the West. No matter how fast you are, there's always someone faster. Right. <laughs> Rightly said. And yeah. so it's continued. Continued. And yeah, it's continued. It's very nice. I don't know who said it. It says, confidence smiles, mm. arrogance smirks. So. There you go. He come out with some right words, exactly. He comes out yes. the best singers yes. all yes. the time. Absolutely. Zareen ji, ab to hum is hamper ke laik bane ke nahi. Can we have the hamper now? I think now you both deserve it. So <laughs> you might as well take it. Kabir, please, can you give it to him and take one yeah, for you yourself? Are. Mm. Are kya hai? Hamper ye asan karna. Hamper wo yeah, asan karna. We will not Guys. hamper anything to do with food. I am so happy to have you on my show. Today and especially because you enjoyed my food, Absolutely. so you have to come again. No, you have to come. There is one thing that is missing. Churan's two or three bottles should be enough. For eating, for eating, for eating, it will be enough. Lovely meal, lovely show. Absolutely. Always happy God to bless be with you. you. Come again and again and again. I'll again be happy and to have you. Absolutely. Both. Pull up the jacket. Come in any time. Hello, pull up. Yeah, but really, I really enjoy. Next time, put interesting dish. Show, so you tell me. We will come to the end. We will not keep you in the show. We will eat food and drink. So thanks a million for this. This has been a fabulous time, and this is a great temporary symbol of it because you are going to eat it all. Yes, actually, it's good. Tomorrow, I have to go to a party. I will save the present. I will save the money. I will give it to you. I am going to eat it. Okay. I am a thrifty man. I am multitasking. Recycling. Plant <laughs> recycling. That's all, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the show as much as I did putting it together. And I do look forward to seeing you again with food, fun, and friends.